Hello everyone, this is V, Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is a mug mini album flip through. I will also have just music at the end along with the flip through. So you'll have two. Uh, you could pick whichever one. The timestamp will be linked in the description below. Okay, I am using Scrap Diva Designs die. This is the mug mini album. It has 15 pieces. It's approximately approximately five and a half inches wide by four and a half tall so you can make so many things with this cards mini albums boxes purses uh, accordions um uh, tags so much so much with this die and you also get so many pieces with it you also get the base you get layering pieces you get a bow you get so much with this the straw be sure to check out scrap diva designs information it'll be linked below as well as the hashtag to gain more inspiration from talented crafters i do have a discount code for you it's v10 that's v-e-e-1-0 -E -E and that'll save you 10 percent through the entire website so here's the front and the back um, I had so much inspiration from Paige Evans and as well as Shara. They are both talented as can be. And so they are my muse for this video. Uh, look at the, the front, you guys. I just love the front. I love how Paige does her stitching, her hand stitching with embroidery thread. Um, I don't do that. What I do is crochet so I did take inspiration from her on that so all of those uh all of the braid that you see there the pink and the white that's crocheting that is my thing my thing is crocheting and so that is my talent and I just wanted to go ahead and do that so here is the first page uh the back side of the cover and it has so much you guys I really wanted to do this video where I could talk with you and show you everything about this mini album. However, uh, time didn't allow that. So here is a voice over for you. So here I do have a little circle die cut um, that I pieced together. And this is where you would add your picture. Um, whoever would get this, it would their picture would be here in, in the front or the back. You could do your journaling either the front or back. I also included a pocket using Scrap Diva die as well um, the paper clip I also handmade it's fabric that's the candy cane fabric along with a puffy sticker and I included a charm on that paper clip so such a cute little paper clip I think these would go great with planners TNs and journals and uh yeah so many things so here is the cover i stitched some antlers on the back cover I added this cute reindeer from hobby lobby it's a felt uh, reindeer sticker that i picked up i believe two years ago but i'm not sure if they have them available still uh you could go and check and see what is available but um yeah so that is the back cover i just love how this turned out you guys I really wanted to keep it for myself. It's one of the best that I've done of all the mini albums, I, I think, in my opinion. Here's a paper clip that I made. A big thank you to Marissa, the Pink 8, for gifting me the tree so I can make that paper clip. She did gift me another gold tree, and I used it as a paper clip as well. I included a snowman pick from Hobby Lobby. This is a tag that came in the Snowflake collection. I added a Velcro piece to the back and attached an eyelet and some chain and attached it to the mug handle. So you can't remove it from that spot. Um, you're able to lift it uh, and then Velcro it back. So you can let it dangle and it, it'll stay. I did use Scrap Diva's Snowflake die. Um, I will have that linked in the description. It's like a sequence mix die, which comes with four dies. I made a little booklet for this pocket. Uh, on the back, it says it's really, really cold. And so this booklet, you're able to add some photos and also some journaling. Um, I added very light pieces to uh, the uh, little booklet so you can write on it. So added some puffy stickers. I stitched everything as well. 
you're able to make your pockets using Scrap Diva Designs uh, pocket dies. So I will have all the links below for everything that I used in this mini album. You can see that chain. The chain is not going anywhere unless you unhinge it. Here's a closer look of this page again. I just love all the color. I love the textures as well. I do have a pocket on the top of the mug and some of the pages. So this page does have that pocket. Here it is right here. I did some stitching around the perimeter. I added that reindeer sticker from Hobby Lobby as well as some miniature trees. This is the die I used for that. That is Scrap Divas. I will have it linked below. So you are able to use it as so and I did it like kind of like a confetti on on paper so I just love how it turned out the back is plain it just has the seam binding attached to it which I did also stitch so just it just slides right through like so so I just love that page so here is the second page uh, on the back of that uh, you can see there's a little charm there I had a little charm dangling there um, I picked it up from Amazon um, I just love the Jolly page as well. Paperclip I made. So everything in this album I did make. So I just love how it turned out. Again, I will be definitely be making more. As you can see, a little gift pulls out. You can add some journaling or a picture here. And it has a pocket for even added journaling if you want to put in some of your uh pieces there anything would go there and as you can see I stitch a tree on the back of that and as well as some puffy stickers here's the die that I'm using for the pocket so it's very simple you don't have to fiddle with your trimmer you don't have to make any measurements and you just use the die and it just goes easy it's easy peasy so I just loved it I'm sliding my little gift present back in and I also use the snow Snowflakes and confetti um, with Scrap Diva's dye. So just love the colors, love the textures again. I can't, I just can't get over this little mini album. I'm being drawn to mini albums, so I will be making a lot more in the future. So this is my favorite page right here. This is a little snowman that I created and I will show it to you in a bit. However, in the back of that, you see a snowflake. That snowflake is from the Silhouette Design Store. It is a cut file. I did do some stitching on it, added some puffy stickers that say Merry Christmas. Also added a puffy sticker reindeer. And using Scrap Diva Design Circle Dies, I made this snowman. It had a washi tape stuck to the side, so I just uh, took that off. I added the word Jolly there. It is a chipboard from one of Frank Garcia's collections. So here's the back here. I added some brads. These are some brad. These are um, button brads that I picked up for Michael's. Well, I believe last year they were on clearance for a dollar. So I picked them up and I just love his hat. Look at a little hat with a little pom-pom on it. I just love it. it. You could put pictures and journaling. You could, there's another pocket again. Each page has a pocket. So you can add anything you'd like to this page such a fun little page I just love it and on the back you could see some seam binding and again some stitching around everything that I added here so on to the next so you have to be very careful because everything does try to snag on each other and I was thinking of adding some acetate to each page but um, I was hesitant on that so a closer look at both pages I just love them so I wanted to do something very festive and and colorful but yet you know on the pink side because I just love pastels so I just added just a bit of that you know dark green a little bit dark green a little bit of red you know not too much but just a subtle touch and um, this is a little journal spot here and a picture spot and it has a tag on it that swivels around that circle die cut the circle die cut is from scrap diva again um here is a different die cut uh mistletoe i will have that linked below for my stash i added it to this page that slides right out so it's just for added texture and added dimension just to draw your eye and see what pieces that 
are on this page. I'm also using the confetti die from Scrap Diva. This is the Santa hats. Added some seam binding to the to the back. There's a snowflake brad that I picked up from Michaels as well. And added some stickers and stitched on everything, you guys. Um, on the back of this page, it has a snow globe that says Merry Christmas with a tree and a pocket. And I just love this page, too. It's very um, pink. I love the pink. It's just um, so pretty. Putting that page back together, I just love the pink and the snow textured cardstock. I love my paper clips, the fabric with puffy stickers and a charm. I think they just bring everything together, give different textures, and just your eye just gets drawn there. And I just love it. On to the next page. Okay, this page is just slightly different. Instead of adding a die cut for the photos, I went ahead and added some tags and I pinned them together with a brad uh, that was gifted to me for, by the Pink 8 Marissa. Um, she will be linked below. I just love the Christmas tree brad. It's such a cute brad. And on the back of that is this peppermint and I made it a mint peppermint. <laughs> it's funny. It's a, a peppermint but the color is mint. So yeah, that's my quirkiness there coming out and I added a Santa shaker tag for Michaels added a pick as well it has a snowflake on it and then the next page here again another pocket and I just love this page too this one is a cute one you'll see why in a bit I added the uh, heart paper clip that one is not made I picked that up from Joann's and um, they are similar to the Maggie Holmes. Or you know what? They may be Maggie Holmes. I'm not sure. I added this little stocking tag. And as you can see in the back, I stitched an SVG file. Cut file. A cut file, not SVG. Stocking from the Silhouette Design Store there. I just love how it turned out too. It has two pockets in it. So you can add something else into that pocket um possibly memorabilia or souvenirs or something like that i just love this album this album is like a really uh, like a snap album where you could if you're going to starbucks meeting a longtime friend take pictures include them here or you're just having um some coffee with your children you can add all the pictures for that uh, time there as well so moving on to the last page look at this winter hat how cute is the winter hat for journaling and on the back I have a little snowman tag that I uh, stitched to the page here's my other tree um, gifted to me from Marissa I uh, added it to a paper clip with some glue and it just turned out very nice and I just love that hat there for journaling it's such a cute way to journal. Well, this just about concludes the video. Uh, if you guys, all the links will be linked below. And I will have a sped up version of this with no commentary, just music for those who want to see and view in fast mode. So um, stay tuned for the next video and another mini album coming very soon. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.